Well, let me introduce our first speakers for the evening. Eric Bloom and Mark Leonard. And they're going to come up and talk to you about college. How many people here went to college? How many people have sent kids to college? Was it more expensive to send your kids than when you went? Come on up, you guys. Tonight is about imagining the world as it could be. Amen? So imagine a world where everyone had access to a Tesla electric self-driving car. It wasn't given to you, but you, you could reach it. You had access to it. Or imagine a world where the cost of travel and the time it took to travel uh, was reduced by so much everybody could have a, a TARDIS from Doctor Who. And you could essentially teleport yourself through, through time and space. Uh, it'd be great because I would stop being late for meetings. Uh, or imagine a world where a high quality undergraduate degree from a Christian, Christian institution was within the reach of anyone who wanted to work hard enough to earn it. Two out of three of these things is, is imaginary, make-believe. But the third one is happening in Southern California with Oak Valley College. I want to tell you about Stephen. Stephen is a student at Oak Valley College, and like all students who are getting ready to go to college and considering their options, Stephen had essentially three different traditional options to go to college. He could go to a... Um, a private Christian college, and there are a lot of good ones in Southern California, and he would have a great experience learning from Christian professors uh, who would speak into his life about his faith. And in the end, he would graduate probably somewhere around $75,000, $125,000, of debt. And if he fell in love with someone at that college, they would get married, and they would start their young lives under the weight of two hundred. dollars $250,000 of student loan debt. I've talked to some of you tonight already. This is, this is feasible, right? This is reality. The second choice Stephen has is he could go to a, a Cal State, State College, uh, where he would have a very different experience. He would go to, to classes, especially in the first couple of years, in giant lecture halls with 150 or 200 other students. He would not know his professor. The professor would not know him if there was a professor in the room at all, because most likely this course is being taught by a TA. And he would still graduate with a bachelor's degree in five years, four or five years, with somewhere around forty dollars to $80,000 in debt. You get married, and you double that. His third option is community college, where after three or four years, he would earn a two-year degree. You do the math on that. And Stephen would still have to transfer to another college to earn his bachelor's degree. All told, after six years, he would still graduate with student loan debt. We are asking our 18-year-olds to put a mortgage on their future without explaining to them, without them understanding that this completely, this system that we've bought into of financial, financial aid to, to finance our college degrees completely undermines the very freedom that a college degree is supposed to promise our young people. So at Oak Valley College, we're trying to change that. And before we move on, we want to let you hear what Stephen has to say about his experience at Oak Valley College in his own words. want to be God's vessel in whatever sense that is and I feel like Oak Valley College encourages that one because it's a Christian school and two because they equip me with the the skills necessary to be that um, I'm not just trained in one aspect of business I'm trained in a lot of aspects of business you know marketing finance and then I'm going into business plans like I'm learning how to do all these things so I can be God's vessel wherever he decides to put me I think one of the biggest changes that I've seen in myself after being at OVC is I'm more committed to hard work. I don't feel so much like I'm just gonna 
you know, get the A because I'm here. Like I want to work for things and that sense of drive and growth has really developed since I've been going to OVC because it is such a rigorous program. You're not going to have debt. Your relationship with God is going to be upheld and put at the center and you're going to learn from a multitude of business professionals who are going to help you in your profession and push you to go further in the future. I knew that my morals and my, um, my faith were going to be upheld at Oak Valley College. So that's why I picked this school, not because of the tuition, even though it's awesome, and not because of the small classroom sizes, even though it's awesome, but because God comes first. And it's important that you go to a school that acknowledges that, not just in what they say, but in what they do. And I've seen at Oak Valley College that it's acknowledged in the classroom tremendously, and it's encouraged in our lives. Like People are behind this, and they believe in it. This is disruptive to the education system. And I believe in that 100% and I agree with that. This is disruptive and it's different. And that changed my whole view about Oak Valley College, even though I've been here for two years, that this is something that's gonna last for a long time. And it's gonna leave a legacy. And my name is Steven Mendoza and I'm a student at Oak Valley College. What is the first thing that comes to mind when you hear 21 years? I'm sure it's the lifespan of a domestic chinchilla is 21 years. <laughs> but seriously, 21 years is the average time that it now takes to pay off an undergraduate student loan. I'll say that again. On average, students are paying 21 years to pay off their undergraduate student loans. This is devastating to so many people. $1.4 trillion in student loan debt across this country. Um, it, as Mark said, you know, students are, are accumulating hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt as undergraduates. In addition to this, as you probably are well aware, is that um, a number of students who go to, private, uh, go to public schools end up leaving the church. I read a, a study um, just a couple months ago that 70% of undergraduate students will leave the local church in their undergraduate education because undergraduate education in public universities used to be somewhat agnostic to the faith but now it's downright antagonistic as a christian you're bigoted you know you're you're bigot you you don't you're intolerant and we hear this all the time these are the things that we face in higher education and why we're disruptive to that so i want to talk about the dna of oak valley college so there's several aspects of it. We have a single degree, a Bachelor of Arts in Business, which encourages faith integration. Mark teaches a marketing course where at the end of that course they, they do a marketing plan for reaching out to the local church and, and market the local church to non-believers. We believe that Christian worldview and teaching is so important and we do that throughout. We have, in addition to the business major, we have four theology courses. We teach them Old Testament, New Testament, systematic theology, and spiritual formation. We have a cohort model, so students enter in the fall, they're a family, they take all their coursework together, they graduate together. It's amazing, we didn't even know how powerful this was, but for Stephen and his group, they're inseparable. Um, we anticipate that out of, there's eight students in our first cohort, and we anticipate that maybe four of them may get married. So, <laughs> so that, I don't know what the odds are in that, but anyways. Um, Students will graduate in three years. We tell students it's not more work, it's just that we have two summer semesters. They take a full semester over the summer and they graduate in three years. Um, there's no student loans, which you mentioned. I'll get more into that a little bit later. One-on-one -on -one mentoring and advising. We have an advisory board made up of about 60 professionals and they are one-on-one, -on -one, they're offering one-on-one -on -one advising to our students. Um, this is part of our DNA, is we want to help students be career ready and, and ready to go. The liberal arts curriculum, besides the theology program, we are a liberal arts college, so we believe in teaching the whole student. We're, we believe in that powerful integration. And then we have this launch pad experience. It's a three course sequence at the end of the program where students learn how to launch a product or service for a business, a nonprofit, or ministry takes them through the whole cycle of, of product development and the life cycle of, of launching a product or service. Highly qualified, and I have to apologize, it's me, but um, and I'm, uh, I, I've been in higher education for more than 20 years. I've been in administration at UCLA, UC Riverside, and University of Redlands. Um, I love higher education, don't get me wrong. 
I just saw it from the inside and it is seriously broken. Um, I've talked to a few educators here and, and we all know this. We're all waiting for the bubble to burst. Um, I first heard that that bubble would burst after the Great Recession, is the next bubble to burst would be higher education. There's no sign of it happening because it's propped up by government loans and everything else. Um, except for students are starting to ask the question, is this worth it? Is it worth you know, $250,000, $300,000 to earn your undergraduate education? Um, and we question that. Um, so this is our brand promise, is earn a bachelor's degree in three years, framed by a Christian worldview with no student loans. So let me share with you, 1,200, this is where I get my pitch man uh, concept up, $12,640. That's not for a semester. That's not for a year. That's the entire degree. $12,640 to earn your entire bachelor's degree, with Christian worldview, high quality education, liberal arts perspective, personalized education in a traditional classroom. So, how do we do that? So first the scoreboard, $12,640 versus the others, $100,000 more. Our loan payoff is none. Um, most of our students pay as they go. Um, they work part-time jobs, they pay for this themselves. It's $395 per month while they're in school. They graduate with no loans. Other schools, $399 per month for 21 years. Uh, we, graduate, we graduate and we guarantee that students will graduate in three years. The average now is six years and a third to graduate from an undergraduate degree. Um, we offer freedom. The other schools, we put a question mark. There, there, um, there may be freedom there, but it may be a long time. So let me share with you um, the DNA a little bit more of what Oak Valley College is. Uh, ten years ago, I attended a Barnabas group meeting in San Diego. Uh, Free Wheelchair Mission, which many of you know, was there. I was amazed that Don Schoendorfer was able to deliver a $50 wheelchair anywhere in the world. And I said, wow, what if we could do that for higher education? What if we could squeeze so much of the cost of higher education out that we could deliver a high quality, personalized liberal arts education to young, professionals, young students who want to be professionals? How do we do that? The cause of private higher education, public higher education, 70, upwards of 70% of the costs are non-academic. So housing, rock climbing walls, athletics, all the things that really aren't at the core or the heart of higher education or the education process are all part of those schools. They burst the budgets. And then you've got schools that take on loans themselves to pay for those things. And so the students have to pay and that's, and obviously the government props that up and helps make that happen. But ultimately, um, we're delivering this, and it's proven, we're delivering it now. One of the things that we do is we hire, and we have great volunteers who help support us, so um, I'm doing this on my own volunteering. Um, and the sustainability of this, you ask, is we have a cohort of 25 students, we can support this just about anywhere. Um, our goal right now, we're in the Inland Empire, we're, uh, we're, we're based there. Our goal is we think we can franchise this out to other locations. We're going to continue to get it right now. We've got two groups that have gone through, that are going through the process. We're going to graduate our first students next year. So next spring, you guys can all come out to the Inland Empire for, for our graduation ceremony. We'd love to see you there. Um, and then we'll continue to fine tune it um, and continue to improve as we go along. So. We are super excited about what we're doing, so. Folks, higher education is going to look very different in the next decade, true? So if you want to be part of that conversation, if you want to be in the room, if you want to be at the table, as we change higher education, fill out that response form and let us know who you are because we want to meet you. We need you. We need your minds. We need your energy. We need your accountability. We have an advisory board that we are continuously recruiting professional people just like you to help us. There are no regular meetings for our advisory board, just occasional panicked phone calls when we are in over our heads. 
but we want to know who you are. Because we do have a dream of someday possibly starting a campus here in Orange County and changing higher education in Orange County. If you want to be part of that conversation, fill out that form and we'll contact you and let's get a group together and talk about how we can make that happen. Because tonight, tonight is about imagining the world as it could be. So just in closing, I want to tell you that um, we recently had a meeting with our accreditation agency, WASC, and these are pretty serious meetings. And after learning about our mission and studying our strategic plan, one of those committee members from WASC paused and just said, our country needs this. We agree, and we need your help. Thank you. Let's go ahead and pray for Eric and Mark and Oak Valley College, all right? Would you pray with me? Father, we just thank you for the vision that you've given Eric and Mark to uh, change the way education is done, to make it affordable, Lord, and not just affordable, to make sure that our kids can get an education where the focus is on you. And Lord, we would pray that you would bless them, that you would give them resources. Maybe there's people in here, Lord, right now that are thinking, boy, I'd somehow like to get involved in that. I'd like to see that come to Orange County. $12,600 is a lot less than it costs now to get our kids and grandkids through school. So, Lord, we would just ask that you would uh, come alongside them. We just, as I said, give them wisdom, give them discernment, and we lift this up to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Take a couple seconds and uh, go to the feedback form. I think it's on page 23 for uh, them and, and fill that out. Just take a couple seconds and fill that out. and then. The tearing of paper is good. That means you're tearing that feedback form out and getting ready to put it in the uh, handout. We'll have our next speaker up. Just